Hi, good evening, morning, or where, whatever part of the world you're in. Welcome to Life Lessons for a time such as now. Well, guys, we're back again. This is part B of our uh, part A segment. Now we're going to talk about, we went from viewing our self-esteem to how do we manage our self-care which I think is really a good topic and it's a good question. How do we manage our self-care? How many of us really take time out to care for ourselves mm -hmm. with all the hustle and the bustle, those with young children and school and working and us who are a little bit more seasoned with grown children, we still have the hustle and bustle of life, working, school, or whatever it is that's going on in our life. How do we take, uh, how do we view or what do we do to step back for a minute to take a wusa? Mm -hmm. What do you do in that me time moment? That's what I call my self-care, my me time moment. Why just shut in with myself, Sometimes just listen to music, maybe maybe even have a glass of wine, watch some TV, listen to some music, or just run in a nice hot bubble bath with candles all around, with jazz playing or whatever music I'm into at that moment. And maybe even just putting my feet in my little spa tub with the little bubbles when I can't afford to go get my feet did. You know, so I have my whole little spa thing and I just do it myself. You know, sometimes it's a little hard trying to get down there and put your legs up. And try to go, you know, <laughs> but just to have that moment to yourself. It's just an awesome thing. I miss going to my chiropractor. She was the bomb. Mm -hmm. <laughs> um, she was a holistic therapist and she would just snap on the back of your neck and know where to crack and go... <laughs> You know, and, know a, and you come out there feeling <laughs> real good. Mm -hmm. so you feel like, oh, I'm alive. And I also used to go get my massages. And sometimes right after, and oh, you're talking about something feeling good after working all day. And you know, some of us, you know, can't move around as good as we used to. Me and Tracy call it the 10 man walk. You get up, you used to. <laughs> oh, <no. laughs> Oil, oil. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> so those things help uh, when you're feeling kind of stiff. And sometimes when you're just stressed out with life and you need a moment to uh, for yourself to unwind. And then there's the other moments where you want to be with your family, your friends, and your grandchildren, especially you have the little ones. Oh, they are funny crack you up the things that come out of their mouths and the things that they do and say sometimes you need that to pick you up and it's just funny and I think about my daughter when she was about I don't know she had to be about uh, about seven or eight so we had something going on at the house and my grandmother got rest her soul she had her wig on <laughs> she had her wig on the wig was cocked to the side <laughs> looking all crazy and my daughter was like grandma what's wrong with your hair <laughs> my grandmother was she was so embarrassed she ran in the bathroom she said oh my god my wig was all cocked to the side I had to fix my <laughs> <laughs> but children are so innocent when they say things oh my gosh so for me that's what I do, you know, for my, you know, this is how I manage my self-care um, with different things, depending on what I'm going through or what I'm feeling at that time. Um, that's what I do. So what do you guys do for your self-care after you had some crazy day or just stressed out or whatever the case may be? Any well, um, <laughs> self-care for me you know, at first I was like, well, do I have any self-care? You know, I had to think about it for a minute because I'm always doing for someone else. Mm -hmm. But when it really comes down to it, 
you know, I have some aromatherapy, you know, light my candles. Mm. I have to have my me time. I've learned how to shut my phone off. Not shut it off, but you know, just take the ringer off. And, you know, just sit and relax. Just rub my toes together and relax. And sometimes I just watch a show that I want to watch. I don't care if it's like really old school or not, but whatever. Just to me, mindless. I watch mindless shows um, from the old school because I don't want to, you know, hear anything that may stress me, you know, stress me out or mm -hmm. trigger me. So if I'm going to watch TV, then it's going to be something that's just easy, breezy and funny. Or like what Crystal said, you know, listening to my soft music. Um, I am a music head, a music buff. Um, my life is a musical, you know. Um, so I enjoy listening to everything from jazz to old school R&B um, to salsa to reggae. You know, I love everything. And so, you know, it depends on my mood. Mm -hmm. You know, I'll just put something on. And I even treat myself out to dinner. So I feel like, you know, I work very hard, you know, and I and I do a lot during the week. And, you know, I don't have anyone here. I'm going to treat myself. I don't have to cook. And it's okay that I don't have to cook. I don't have to do it anything if I don't want to. Um, and that's my self-care. If I don't want to, I'm not doing it. Okay. Um, you know, silence is bliss for me now. Silence. Mm. I get a little annoyed and aggravated. I just have to share this real quick. So, um, you know, I'm in the, the, the dating pool right now. That's what you want to call it. And there's a guy that just talks <laughs> all the time. He's blowing himself out the water because I don't like all that. Just... I need you to shut up sometimes, <laughs> you know, and that's where I'm at. That's part of my self-care. <laughs> shut up. <laughs> just shutting up. <laughs> really, oh, like, my gosh. You know that, like, but I'm, I'm serious, you know, but that's <laughs> part of my self-care. Mm -hmm. Shut up. Just shut up. <laughs> shut up. Why? <laughs> I don't want to hear it anymore. <laughs> Will you shut up? Right, right. <laughs> oh. in the corner. No, I do this, and they be like, I know they on the other end. On hello, <laughs> yes, hello. <laughs> we got yes. one response. Will you shut up? <laughs> That's what you really want to say. Seriously, you really yeah. want to say that. That's you what really you really want to say. You know, I had to be nice about it. And I was just like, yeah, you know, I, I, I like my quiet time. I had to say it because if it's overwhelming me, that's not self-care. If it's right. overwhelming me, you are, you know, contributing to my stress. No, thank you. Right. I know that's right. Right. Mm -hmm. Right. Yeah. Wow. <laughs> I <don't> know. <laughs> That's hilarious to me because I am known, I am the notorious blocker because right. if you are messing around with my peace mm -hmm. or anything that has to do with my quiet time mm -hmm. or my me time, you got to go, okay? Oh, that's right. Because even when I'm talking to my girl on the phone or whatever, we know we have comfortable silences. Mm -hmm. You know when to talk and you know when to shut up. And if you don't know that by now, when you get to be a certain age, and for those that are watching, you may not be there yet. You know, your you know, self-care, what that looks like for you may be totally different than what we're saying. But I know for me, I and I enjoy and it's so precious to me, just a little smile from my great nephews or, you know, from my great niece and the little ones, like, you know, they innocent, you know, I ain't got time for no grown folk with their problems and be wanting to hear mm. and they keep me on the phone mm. and talk about you this, talk about you that. I don't even do that no more. If you and I can't laugh and chuck it up, sometime me and Trey get on the phone and just be playing music. She just be mm. in the background DJing, you know? And <laughs> you know, you know what I mean? Like after a hard week and a hard month, a hard years, the hard COVID, come on now, nobody's not 
trying to hear anything but you know jazz you know classical i get in my car and i will put on the classical bling 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 bling, bling. oh yes i love it yes yeah. so yep. soothing yep they're so soothing and i'll be like then and then you know especially when the part come with the with the symbols right right <laughs> you know and i'll be like and that you know it seems loud but it it does soothe my spirit because it's classical music and i'm like yes. you know I, I i love my long drives you know I still enjoy, and I do got that crystal. Where I get out the car, and every bone in my body go, yes, go to cracking on me. But you know, I got two hour intervals. You know, the, the, at the most three. You know, I can do a three hour dip and uh get some good scenery. You know, I do love the scenery. I even appreciate the branches on the leaves, or the or the you know the rocks in the mountain, yes. or you know the streams in the valley. I, I you know. I do appreciate my self-care, whatever that means for the moment. So it could be a massage. It could be music. It could definitely be binge watching. I think I really just love, you know, being in the confounds of my home. You know, it's just me and my daughter, you know, and she is, you know, finding her way and her track in life. And, you know, and I'd be sometimes be like, I'm so glad we live on two opposite sides of the house. Like she got her side. I got my side. And, you know. Right. And we check in and we meet in the middle. And, you know, and so, you know, the nails and all of that stuff is cute and all, but that's not, you know, that I, I went through all of that, you know, so that don't really mean much to me. But I did say that in this season of my life that I was going to pay close attention to my hair. Now that it's all down my back again, I got to do something and I got to keep it up. You know, God didn't give me all this hair for me to be wrapping it in a scarf. That's right. Even though I love my, my wraps now, but you know, I committed to, you know, getting my hair done and, you know, making sure, you know, I, I take care and give me some good makeup, you know, it don't matter, whatever it is, you know, so, um, and that's kind of what I did today, you know, I went out and I said, you know what, I need me a new, you know, eyeliner, I think I need me some new mascara, you know, because there was a time when I would be like, self-care, I'm on the back burner, you know, Then yeah. forget about Renee, so in this life today, it's all about Renee. <laughs> I like what Jay-Z said. It's about me. And if you are interrupting that in any way, that means that you are disrupting my spirit. And if you disrupt my spirit, you got to get ejected. You know, mm -hmm. that's my favorite word. Eject and go. That's it. So, you know, but on the therapeutic side, I love what, you know, you both said candles and aromatherapy and setting down in the bath and, you know, I do have to disclose I have a bath chair and that's not because I'm old, <laughs> but I find <laughs> that that's the secret to getting to them feet. Okay. Okay. <laughs> Sit in that chair and put them legs up and you can work on them toes, girl, because you can I'm lift up that say. thigh. I still can lift up a thigh, just so you know. Just because I live alone don't mean I can't lift up a thigh. Just uh -oh. so you know. Uh -oh. All right. But I, so I have to practice some kind of way. So I get to them toes every now and then. I... And, uh, you know, my girl Sue, she do a good job. And in between them weeks, I got to get between them toes and get that thing up there. So, but the chair works wonders. Okay. Because I can sit in the chair and it's lovely. Let the water flow on me. You know, I'm a water person. So I love, you know, like feeling the water and, you know, the bath is nice but I kind of like the water to beat down on me. So it's kind of, a, you know, for me, it's restorative and it, and it soothes me. So I'd have to say the highest level after aromatherapy would be the water. Then there's the wine, then there's the music and all of that order. It could be the music, then the wine, then the aromatherapy, <laughs> then the right. toes and the thigh, you know, depending, you know. Right, right. Going I'm trying to get some self care in some other ways, you know what I mean? You know, yeah, we heard. Well, you know, thighs a couple yeah, times already. And that I mentioned thighs about three to four times. Well, well, you know, well, well, yeah. So, you know. Anybody yeah, out there? I'll leave it at that. I think I better leave it right I know, there. That's right, know, Chris. On the self care tip. But, you know, I'm learning. <laughs> Listen. Listen, as, as, as I am a certain age, I am honest. I am honest. <laughs> I love so, it. yeah, yeah, that's that. But I love the self care um idea of putting this in, especially with the follow up of the self esteem, because you know we we have to incorporate that. It's like you know, it's like a hand in a glove. You know, you put the glove on, put the hand in. You know, take the glove off. So 
when we take the gloves off, you know, we have to, you know, we 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 roughing it out there, you know, like Tracy says, you do it for everybody and always working hard and every time you turn around, you know, and I be listening to Tracy, Tracy, you know. Mm -hmm. My phone, I keep it off now. I love the fact that you turn your phone off or put it on vibrate. Right. You know, I it's selective. To. It's right. selective. Mm -hmm. Can't keep all of that in our eardrums. Yeah. Silent. There you yeah. go. Yeah. Yeah. So I mean, I think that um we're about to be coming down to our last little, you know, end of our, you know, uh, nice little run here for what we've introduced here for our segment. So would you like to say any, you know, last remark to uh, the audience before I close out? Well, yes, just to run down everything real quick. I think that this was a great evening and, um, you have to remember all the things that we talked about, self-esteem, self-care, who you are. I think these are very good topics and something for you to think about and things to grow on. So ladies, I love you. And I enjoyed our conversation on tonight. Yes. Yeah. Love you back. I, I, I love you too. I love you as well, Renee. And I love everyone that's out there listening to us and, and getting some jewels. Um, you know, this is just the beginning. Um, it's not the end, but it's definitely the beginning of a beautiful journey. And I can't wait until next time. Absolutely. Thank you. I love you, Tracy. I love you, Chris. And yes, I love you world out there. And this has been our journey of opening up our life lessons for times such as now podcast. And it has truly been enjoyable. It has been enlightening. Um, I like what Crystal said to stay tuned and to follow up with yourself. Be sure to um, do some self-care, reflect on, on your self-esteem, um, find out who you are and what's your purpose. And, you know, if you want to, you know, drop us a line on YouTube and uh, we'd love to hear from you and on SoundCloud and give us some likes and thumbs up and, um, you know, just give us a remark if you can. Just let us know. What did you think? Um, is there any questions that you may have? Um, we all, as you can see, love to share. Um, and this has been uh, um, very enlightening in a way that we can you know, I love something off on a commercial. Uh, Crystal said, I didn't know that. Mm, I learned some things tonight. So, you know, um, and that's a beautiful thing because even with us, we're still learning. And that's the beauty of our journey and our purpose and um, building our self-esteem. But most of all, we want to help you build yours. And so please make sure you join us and look for us on YouTube. And again, it's Life Lessons for a time such as now podcast. And you can search us by looking for our podcast name and give us some likes. And until the next time, we'll see you soon. Don't forget Bye to share. Now. Yes. <laughs> Thank you. Bye. Don't forget to share. Bye. And we'll be praying for you. Absolutely. Yes. Yeah.